In the last few lectures, we learned about different types of operators in JavaScript and how to work with them. And in some of the lectures, I mentioned about operator precedence and associativity. Now, operator precedence and associativity comes into picture when the expression where we are using some JavaScript operators, if that expression is a bit complex. So, let's try to understand operator precedence and associativity with an example. Let's go to VS Code. And here we have a simple expression. Now in this expression, we are using different operators. We are using the plus operator. We are using the minus operator, this multiplication operator and division operator. Now, how should this expression be evaluated? If we evaluate it from left to right, in that case, the result will be 10 plus 3, which is 13 minus 5 will be 8 multiplied by 4 will be 32 divided by 2 will be 16. So if we evaluate it from left to right, the result should be 16. But if we evaluate it from right to left, then in that case, the result should be 4 divided by 2 will be 2, 2 multiplied by 5, 10, 3 minus 10, minus 7, and minus 7 plus 10, 3. So if we evaluate it from right to left, the result will be 3. But if we evaluate it from left to right, the result will be 16. So how should this expression be evaluated? Well, this expression will be evaluated based on the operator precedence. So in JavaScript, we have operator precedence table and we can check that by going to this MSDN link. So here you see we have a table and in that table, we can see the precedence of an operator. So the highest precedence goes to this grouping operator, the brackets. Okay, now in this expression, we have plus minus multiplication and division operator. So if I scroll down, you will see we have multiplication operators. So basically multiplication, division and reminder. These three operators have a precedence of 12. And addition and subtraction has an operator precedence of 11. So addition and subtraction, it has lower operator precedence than multiplication and division. And multiplication and division has same operator precedence. So here, first the multiplication or division will be performed and then with that result, the addition and subtraction will happen. Now again, the question is both multiplication and division has the same operator precedence. Then which one should be evaluated first? Whether first we should be doing the multiplication or division. So when the two operators have same operator precedence, then the operator associativity comes into picture. So here you can see for multiplication and division, since they have the same operator precedence, which is 12, here we will look for the operator associativity. And the operator associativity for division, multiplication and remainder is from left to right. So for this expression, where we have multiplication and division, this expression will be evaluated from left to right. So first, the multiplication will happen because this operator is in the left and on the result of that, the division will happen. So 4 multiplied by 5 will be 20 divided by 2 will be 10. So in this case, the result will be 10 plus 3 minus 10 because when 4 will be multiplied by 5, the result will be 20 and we are dividing that 20 by 2. So the result will be 10. So now in the expression, we only have two operators, plus and minus. And again, you will see that both plus and minus, this addition and subtraction, both have the same operator precedence, which is 11. So again, which one should be evaluated first? Since both have the same operator precedence, we need to check the operator associativity again. And for plus and minus also, the operator associativity is from left to right. So again, this expression will be evaluated from left to right. So first 10 plus 3 will be evaluated. The result will be 13. And to that, 10 will be subtracted. So the result should be 3. Right. Let's go ahead and let's check if that's the case. So let's write the console.log statement. And let's log the value of result. If we save the changes, you will see that the result is 3. 
so this is what operator precedence and associativity is operator precedence is used to determine the order in which an expression is evaluated the order in which the calculations are performed becomes more crucial in more complex expressions so with the help of operator precedence we determine which operator should be evaluated first then if two operators in an expression has the same operator precedence then the associativity of the operator is used to determine which operator will be evaluated first and the associativity of an operator is basically the direction in which the operator should be evaluated and we saw that with an example when we talk about operator precedence the brackets that means the grouping so here if i scroll up we have this grouping operator and this grouping operator is nothing but the parenthesis which we can use before and after an expression so for example in this expression this multiplication and division has the higher operator precedence than plus and minus but if i wrap this expression within parenthesis like this in this case we are grouping this expression so in this case this grouping will have higher precedence so now before multiplication and division the expression which we have inside these parentheses that will be evaluated first so now this expression will be evaluated first and again since plus and minus have the same operator precedence which is if i scroll down it is 11 so since both of them have the same operator precedence the associativity will come into picture and when the associativity will come into picture this expression this will be evaluated first and from the result of that expression this 5 will be subtracted so now the expression will be 10 plus 3 will be 13 minus 5 8 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 so now this will be the expression because when we evaluate this expression the result will be 8 to that we want to multiply 4 and divide it by 2 and now again this multiplication and division it has the same operator precedence which is 12 so again associativity will come into picture so this expression will be evaluated from left to right so from the left to right 8 will be multiplied by 4 the result will be 32 and 32 will be divided by 2 so in this case the result will be 16 if we save the changes you will see that the result is 16 so parenthesis has the highest operator precedence if we have any expression within parenthesis that will be evaluated first and after that only other expressions will be evaluated now remember that this equal to here this is also an operator this is assignment operator and this operator has very low operator precedence so if i scroll down we should have assignment operators so you see we have assignment operator and it has a very low operator precedence which is 2 below this we have only one other operator which is comma so comma has the least operator precedence we talked about comma in the assignment operator lecture so this has the least operator precedence and before that we have assignment operator and the associativity for equal to operator this assignment operator it is from right to left it is not from left to right so that's why this equal to operator will always be evaluated last after the expression which we have in the right hand side that is evaluated and once the expression is evaluated that expression it will be assigned to the variable after which we are using this assignment operator so here the value will be assigned from right to left so this operator this assignment operator it will take the value from right and it will assign that value to its right hand operand so the associativity for equal to is from right to left and it has an operator precedence of 2 which is very low so it will be evaluated after all other operators it will only be evaluated before the comma operator because the comma operator has less operator precedence than the assignment operator also i hope this point is clear now let's take another example let's create an expression and in this expression let's use multiple operators so let's say 10 plus let's say 23 let's use or operator 20 then let me also create two variables a equal 10 
and d equal 12. So here let's also use pre-increment operator. Okay. And let's also use post decrement operator. So B minus minus. And here let me use plus. Okay. And then let's use multiplication. Let's say 2. And let's use end operator. And let's say null. Something like this. So in this expression, we have multiple operators which we are using. And this expression will be evaluated based on the operator precedence and its associativity. So here, let's see which operator has the highest operator precedence. So we know that this multiplication will have higher operator precedence than addition. Now, let's check the operator precedence of pre-increment and post-decrement. So here we have equality, we have comparison operators, we have addition operator, multiplication operator. Okay. Here we have pre-increment, pre-decrement and we have post-increment, post-decrement. So post-decrement has higher operator precedence than pre-increment. Post-decrement has 15 and pre-increment has 14. So in this expression, this post-decrement will be evaluated first. Okay. Let's scroll up. Yeah. So here, this post decrement has highest operator precedence. So that will be evaluated first. So now the result will be 10 plus 23 or 20 plus 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 A plus. Now here we have learned that it first returns the value and then it increments its value. So at this line, when the value will be returned, at that time, the value of B is 12. So here, the result will be 12, which will be returned by this post decrement operator. And after it has returned this value 12, it will increment the value of B. So now B is storing a value 13. But we are not using that value anywhere else. So we will simply get 12. Then multiplied by 2 and null. Okay. Now after post decrement, next operator which will have highest priority in this expression is this pre-increment operator, right? Because if you see, post-decrement operator has an operator precedence of 15 and pre-increment has an operator precedence of 14. So now this operator will be evaluated. So again, the result will be 10 plus 23 or 20 plus. And we know that the pre-increment or decrement operator, it first increments or decrements the value and then it returns the new value. So the previous value of A is 10. So this pre-increment operator, it will increment the value of A. So the new value will be 11 and that new value will be returned by this pre-increment operator. So here we will get 11 plus 12 multiplied by 2 and null. Okay. Next we have plus operator here we have or operator and we have multiplication operator and end operator so now let's see which has the highest priority so we are not using this exponentiation operator we have multiplication we have addition okay here we have logical end we have logical or so logical end and logical or has lower operator precedence than addition and multiplication Right, so multiplication operator has 12 and addition and subtraction has 11. So now multiplication will happen first. So here it will be 10 plus 23 or 20 plus 11 plus 12 multiplied by 2. So now this one will be evaluated. So 12 multiplied by 2 will be 24 and null. Okay. Now we have end operator and plus operator in this expression and or operator also. So the next will be the plus operator will evaluate first because it has higher operator precedence than this or and this end operator. So in this expression, since we have multiple plus operators and the associativity of plus is from left to right. So we can evaluate it from left to right. So it will be 10 plus 23. It will be 33 or 20 plus 11 plus 24 so 
20 plus 24 will be 44 plus 11 will be 45 it will be 55 and null okay now we have or operator and end operator in this expression so let's see the operator precedence of or and end here so for the or operator as you can see it has an operator precedence of 3 and for the end operator it has an operator precedence of 4 so end operator has higher operator precedence than or operator so in this case this end operator will be evaluated first and we know that the end operator returns the first falsy value in these two values this null is the falsy value so this expression here it will return the first falsy value from the expression so this null will be returned by this end operator so now the expression becomes 33 or null and finally this or operator will be evaluated and the or operator returns the first truthy value and in these two operands the truthy value is 33 so the result should be 33 here let's check that let's go ahead and let's log the expression and let's see the results let's go to this tab and you will see that the result is 33 so this is how operator precedence and associativity helps us in evaluating a complex expression now you don't need to remember the operator precedence of each of the operator and their associativity that will come to you with practice but understanding operator precedence and associativity is very important so i hope with this lecture now you understand what is operator precedence and associativity and when we use operator precedence for evaluating an expression and when we use operator associativity this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day